Most men feel pretty nervous about approaching a woman and with the option now of online dating, they are understandably less incentivized to approach us in real life and risk rejection or worse, a bad reaction. Some men will come over and approach you at a bar or elsewhere regardless, but they are far and few in between and may not always be the type of man you'd want to approach you anyway. A good, respectful, high value man might not want to come to talk to you if he believes he could be bothering you by doing so. And if he fears that it could risk him rejection or an unpleasant encounter, he will likely choose the safe bet and just leave you alone. If you want a respectful, good man to approach you, you will have to show that you are safe to approach. While I think it's beneficial to allow the man to take the lead in pursuing a relationship, I also think it's only good if you take the initiative and send the invitation so he knows he's fine to pursue you in the first place. So here are some tips on how to do that. I will suggest some specific actions you can take, but we do have to cover the most crucial step first in being approachable, and that is just to be an inviting person to begin with. An inviting person is someone who is friendly. You don't have to be someone you're not just being the most friendly version of yourself. For instance, when you are making an order at a coffee shop, you could smile at the barista and ask them how they're doing. Then when you sit down, pet the cute dog at the table next to you and tell the owner how adorable it is. And just in general, smile and be friendly with the people who are already around you. It's really common for women to completely turn off their sweet side when we're out in public, and that is totally understandable. We've all had to deal with unwanted attention from men who mistook our friendliness as an indicator of romantic interest. So it is no wonder that we've learned to be cautious and put up walls around men. And while it is totally normal to want to protect yourself this way, and I think that it is good that you are able to, the downside is that if you stay cold or closed off most of the time, you'll miss out on connecting with some really good people as well. It's a good idea to start practicing being more in your friendly nature so you won't feel awkward trying to turn it on for someone you find attractive. How we do the little things can really help us with how we do the big things. So if you work on friendly small talk, making eye contact and smiling at the people around you, it'll be easier to do the same with someone you're attracted to. People can sense your energy and if you come across as cold or disinterested, men will also pick up on that. Ultimately, we all want someone who are friendly and men are no exception. By learning to switch your friendliness off, but also on again, more opportunities for connection will come your way. And about eye contact, Making eye contact with someone you are attracted to can be really nerve wracking, but it really is a skill you can develop like any other. And it's such a crucial step in being approachable. If you feel too uncomfortable or shy to make eye contact with or smiling at a man, Imagine how nervous he must feel at the thought of walking over to you to start a conversation. You can practice and improve making more eye contact with people you already feel comfortable around, such as friends and family. Work your way up to making longer eye contact with service staff and make basic small talk with them, such as asking them about how their day is going or something similar. Also, try not to fidget as you do so and be mindful of giving people People your undivided attention when they're answering, as this is a key component in being genuinely friendly. And as you get better at this, you'll start experiencing more positive and friendly interactions that will reinforce your friendly nature. It's like a cycle of good vibes. So now that we have got that covered, it's time for a practical tip. Just being inviting and friendly and offering smiles will probably make some men approach you, but if you've got your sights set on a particular guy, you could drop the handkerchief for him. The expression of dropping the handkerchief comes from back in the day where a woman would drop her handkerchief around a man she liked so that he could chivalrously pick it up and then use it as an opportunity to talk to her. He might have think he had a lucky coincidence that day, but she chose him. You can, of course, do the literal version of this and drop something around a man, hope he'll notice and pick it up for you. 
then take it as an opportunity to thank him and maybe even make small talk. But dropping the handkerchief really just means making the first move or to leave the door open by creating an opportunity for him. If you see an attractive man, let's say at a cafe for example, Make a habit of always placing yourself in the vicinity, even if nothing will come of it. Simply being nearby and being your friendly self will make you more approachable. And if you're feeling brave, you can smile and say hi if you're going to sit close to him. And if you need anything, ask him. Ask him to watch your jacket while you're in the restroom or if he's seen an outlet for your charger. And remember to smile and say thank you. Open the door and just be friendly to basically show him that he won't be turned down if he choose to talk to you. Every man, also the good and high value ones, are dealing with their egos. Men can be quite sensitive when it comes to rejection, so appearing friendly and rubbing the handkerchief goes a long way in making a man feel comfortable enough to approach you. You don't have to directly pursue men, just leave the door ajar for those you take an interest in. And remember, still, that even if you do everything right, not every man you like will approach you. It doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong, that's just life. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel for more.